What's the hardest job you've ever done? Was it physically difficult or perhaps very stressful and tiring? Perhaps it was a job that didn't have any status. Other people didn't think it was important. Maybe people looked down on you. Maybe they distrusted you. Maybe you suffered discomfort and fatigue, freezing cold and desert heat, poverty, danger and attack. For a bunch of sheep. First century shepherding was not for the faint-hearted. Shepherds had to guide their flocks over miles of desert to find viable pasture. Shepherds ate what they could carry with them or what they could find. The Bible mentions shepherds eating husks from the carob tree, poor fruit from the sycamore, and maybe some locusts or wild honey. Armed with sling and staff, shepherds fought against wild animals preying on their sheep and protected the flock from the most dangerous predator of all other people. Robbers would target a flock to steal away a sheep or two, sometimes at night. Especially at night. So night was when you stayed awake, stayed alert and watched. Waiting and watching. Watching and waiting. And an angel of the Lord appeared and the glory of the Lord shone around. They were terrified. Do not be afraid. They didn't understand. Today in David's town a saviour has been born. They were chosen. You will find the baby. They were obedient. Let's go to Bethlehem. And so they left their sheep and hurried off. Down into the silent town, through empty streets, past closed doors and shuttered windows. Looking for a manger and a baby wrapped in cloths. They were a strange choice, really. Shepherds. Who was going to believe them? Who would listen to them? Why would God choose them for such an important announcement? Like Zachariah and Elizabeth, they were waiting. Like Mary, they were outsiders and afraid. Like the wise men, they were watching. Like the angel, they would spread the word. And all who heard it were amazed. 